Hey Fedheads, welcome back to IPCPR 2018. I'm Trip with Cigar Federation here with John Huber of Corround Heads. John, how are you doing so far? Doing good, man. Doing it's good. It's yep. good. First day and we're one hour into the show and it's been pretty pretty hopping. It's been good. And you've got some new stuff here that uh, we've been getting a lot of questions from our viewers in our in our pre-show stuff. Mm. They're really looking forward to hearing about the CHC. Tell us a little bit about that one. So CHC stands for Crown Heads Court. And we kind of like behind the scenes labeled like our followers, loyalists, like our court, because Crown Heads, Crown Heads Court. So we wanted to do something that was inspired by kind of our geeks for them, by them kind of thing. So we, we came up with the idea in 2016 during the whole FDA thing when it was like, okay, let's, you know, figure out what we're going to do for the next 10 years. Yeah. So Crown Heads Court was one of them. So we started working on it back then, kind of put it on the back burner, and then we kind of brought it up middle of last year to like, okay, let's make this the, the 18 reserve, our release. So we went back to Ernie, was who we started with, Ernesto yeah. Perez Carrillo, Tobacco La Alianza, and we said, okay, we got this concept for this reserve, a reserva, uh, let's, let's, let's look at some blends, some stuff. So we started working on the blend, started working on the packaging, the logo, all that kind of stuff, and really started, you know, going full steam ahead on it. So what the end result was a limited production run of 150,000 cigars, three sizes, 5.58, 46, 550, 654. Why? Because those were the first three sizes of four kicks back mm -hmm. in 2011, with three of the four. And uh, we did something different with Ernie, which we hadn't used uh, San Andreas Maduro wrapper before yeah. with Ernie. We've done it with, with my father, but not with Ernie. Yeah. And people say, oh, it's got to be the same thing. Well, it's not. It's like, you know, if you have two different chefs in the kitchen, one's going to use a, a, an ingredient far differently than the other one. So the way Ernie goes about San Andreas is different than the way, you know, Pepin and, and Jaime yeah, go about San Andreas. So it's got a different flavor profile. Uh, Ecuadorian binder and Nicaraguan fillers. Um, price point between 950 and 1250, and we're introducing it here. So, and then the reserve is something that will carry forward as well. It sure. always was. And so, like, we may see the, the, a 19, we may see a 20. It may, you know, put on the back burner to 21 or whatever. But we're going to keep doing this particular sub brand of Crown Heads, Crown Heads Reserve, going into the future. Nice. And you've got some other new stuff to talk about. Uh, You've got the new Luminosa Gigantes. Gigantes. Uh, tell us about that one. A limited edition Luminosa. Yeah, yeah. I, I call that the when the hell freezes over release. <laughs> I don't know if anybody is familiar with the Eagles, but you know, they said they would never tour again together, and they would when hell freezes over, and then, like, you know, 10 years later, oh, hell froze over, and we're, we're touring again. So I always said we would never do a 6 by 60 I'm, for the record, I'm not a fan of the Vitola. I don't normally smoke it. I have smoked some of these, obviously. But... I mean, we, we kept getting hammered and hammered, do a six by six, do a six by six. Our national sales manager, Miguel, was on me and on me. He's like, let's just at least try it. Let's yeah. just, you know, put our, our toe in the water with maybe an LE and we'll try it. So, okay, what, what blend do you want to do it with? He said, let's try it with Luminosa. So, here you go. Luminosa Gigante. It's a, it's a one and done, 2,000 boxes, 12 counts, so 24,000 total cigars. And we're going to see how it goes. We'll see from there. But, um, you know, I... It's just not my cup of tea, you know. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat, man. But at a certain point, you kind of have to go, okay, it's not all about what you want. It's what everybody wants. So this is for the, the, the big ring gauge sector. So yeah, and, the, and they're out there for sure. Yeah, and then the, the juxtaposition of that is the Four Kicks Maduro Lancero, yeah. traditional 7.5 by 38 Lancero. We actually pre-launched that um, at the TAA show two months ago. Sold maybe about a third of the production, so we're going to sell the other two-thirds of the production here at the IPCPR. So that's actually out at TAA stores now, the Four Kicks Maduro Lancero. Awesome. And uh, another thing people always want to know is what kind of hats you got coming down the pipeline. Oh, man. I mean, I'm one of them, but we get a lot of questions about so that, we, too. So we have a CHC Reserve snapback that we've got here at the show that we're going to give out. Um, we've got a Crown Heads Life, uh, kind of a riff on the, the Miller High Life uh, logo. That's going to be out next, next week when we get back. And then uh, I got some new roadshow hats coming out for the roadshows for the guys that we do the in-store events. And I'm actually working, nobody knows this, but I'm working on a uh, kind of a, a, a snapback that's inspired by Easy e from NWA. Oh, man, that sounds, so, that you, sounds like you, I need that one. Are you old school hip-hop heads out there? That'll, that'll be coming down the pike, too, so that's fun. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, John. Always a pleasure. We appreciate man. it. Appreciate it. Thanks Have a good show. Cigar Fed. Appreciate you guys.